so this is the project I created uh, the project is a report.ex uh, it's a simple uh, visual C sharp windows application and uh, this is the default form displayed uh, our first step in the report generation is uh, link this project to a data source in our example we are going to display the title uh, table from the pubs database so first we should get that uh, title table to our project uh, what I'm doing here is I am uh, going to the data menu and I'm choosing add data source clicking the add data source will uh, display a data source configuration wizard um, so the wizard says uh, where will the application get data from there are multiple places you can get a database I mean uh, you can get the data yeah, in our case we are going to take uh, the table from the pubs database so I'm clicking a database here then I will choose next uh, here in this wizard uh, choose your uh, data connection uh, you should define a new connection here I already connected to the pub database uh, if you are uh, connecting to a particular database for the first time then you should go for a new connection Here the data source is uh, shown as uh, Microsoft SQL Server. Uh, in the very first time you should provide the data source uh, from this list. Uh, here it is showing as a change data source. Uh, when you are coming to this wizard for the first time, you have to pick from the available uh, data sources. Uh, since I'm going to take the data from uh, Microsoft uh, Pubs database, I have chosen uh, uh, Microsoft SQL Server. If you want to take data from Oracle database, you should specify Oracle database. Then you should uh, specify the data provider. Here I have taken uh, .NET Framework data provider for SQL Server. Once you specify the data source, then you should specify the server name. Uh, since uh, I'm using uh, the same machine as a database server, I'm specifying local here. If your database server is on a different machine, uh, you can specify the uh, host name, I mean the machine name in which SQL Server is running, or you can specify the IP address of the machine in which the SQL Server database is running. Uh, since uh, in here uh, the database is running on the same machine in which I am developing this sample, I am providing a local. This specifies that the server is the current machine. And I'm providing the SQL Server authentication here. SA and uh, password for that SA. Connect to your database. Uh, once your authentication is succeeded, here you will get a list of database. 
Now so I am going to connect the pub database, I selected pubs here. If you need you can uh, test the connection. Here the indication shows uh, that uh, the connection is uh, possibly success. Uh, if you have uh, some other kind of trouble that you can uh, identify by using this uh, test connection. Says test connection succeeded. Click OK here. So you can able to see the connection string here. Um, I'm clicking next. It says uh, if you want to uh, display the sensitive data, that means your uh, database username and password. Uh, we can respond to this uh, dialog to show the sensitive data or not. Uh, uh, here I am selecting yes. So it will show that sensitive data in the connection string itself. Uh, next it says the save connection string to the application configuration file. Here you will get a chance of uh, changing the connection string name. I mean connection string name. Here I will provide uh, pubs as my connection string name. I'll click next. Once you uh, your database connection is uh, succeeded, uh, you will see the database elements here, tables, views, stored procedure. All this stuff will supply data to your application. So I am interested in um, taking the data from uh, titles table so I pick titles here then click finish so in the data you can click uh, show data source so that you can pin it on uh, the sidebar and this will be helpful when you are designing the report uh, show data source here you will see the table that we selected from the data source We picked all the fields from this uh, table. So this is the first step in uh, creating the report. Uh, what we did is we chosen data, add new data source. Then we specified the database is uh, SQL Server. Um, then we supplied username, password and picked a particular table that we want to uh, display it in the report.